Good morning, Megan. It's Sunday. And today, there was no precipitation. This last Friday, John Green came to Pittsburgh to do a lecture in book signing. As a pretty dedicated nerdfighter, I was obviously stoked to go. I have a few friends who are nerdfighters in training, and they were really interested in going too. So, you, Megan, Kim, and Nicole Peaky came along. It was one of the best nights of my life. So, my mom was very unconvinced about me going to something like this because she was confused about the idea of sitting and watching someone talk for an hour or two. I had to explain to my mom that I had already sat at my computer and watched him talk for hours on end. After the lecture, my mom definitely understood Nerdfighteria a lot better. This is helpful because she usually just wonders all the time why I sit at my computer and watch people talk to video cameras. So, upon arrival, we saw Armored Bear Cub. They performed a song about Paper Towns, which I will upload as well. Whenever John Green came on stage, I practically cried. And we got to say good morning to Hank, which is wonderful. I've always wanted to say good morning to Hank. I mean, what nerdfighter hasn't wanted to say good morning to Hank? So it went a little like this. So if you could just say uh, good morning, Hank. It's Monday on 3 one Two, three. Good morning, Hank! It's Monday! I cut the cheering, so you guys did all that for nothing, but thank you! <laughs> and I know you'll see that from John's perspective in his video tomorrow. After the lecture, we went to the book signing. There were almost 600 people there. I was number 218, but I lost my number in my purse somewhere, so my mom gave me her number, which was 217. Now, February 17th is her birthday, so my mom was really excited about getting the number 217. Well, then I lost the number, like I dropped it on the floor somewhere and I couldn't find it, so I had to use my number anyway. But then we went around looking for it, and someone had set it up on like a trash can, along with someone's uh, Slytherin hat that I guess they dropped. And I was like, oh, well, that's cool, because it was like my mom's birthday number, and she was so excited about it, and someone was nice enough to do that, and we found it. So then then my mom got to get in line too, and she got her ticket signed, and I got my book signed. Whenever we got to the book signing, there was this awesome board People could that write up to six of what they wanted their last words to be. I put my last words on the board, and there were a bunch of other people's last words. By the time we left, it was covered head to toe in last words, and the line went down a little bit like this. I know. <laughs> Nicole's like, I'm in a vlog. <laughs> Tell Von Del Swain that I said hi back. Um, you're wearing one of the very few nerd fighter shirts not designed by Von Del Swain. Thank you very much. Thanks very much for coming. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> and as you can see, John was lovely and he was nice enough to film the intro to this video. Thank you so much. I really truly feel terrible about his hand because there were close to 600 people that wanted to get their stuff signed. So his hand was probably killing him. I'm sorry, John. It was one of the best days of my life, and it was wonderful because I got to spend it with people that I love. And it was great because I was just surrounded by other nerdfighters the whole time, so it was like we were in nerdfight area. Anyway, Megan, I'm glad I could spend the best day with you and my other friends, Nicole and Kim. I'm glad I could spend it with my mom because before she didn't understand me at all and she totally didn't understand Nerdfighteria and at least now she gets it, if only the tip of the iceberg. Megan, I hope to see footage of my nervous breakdown after meeting John Green on Tuesday. If you don't upload it, I will curb stomp you. Love you. Bye-bye.